The University of Cincinnati Neuroscience Institute is a collaboration between the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine and UC Health. And really it's focused on three-part mission, which is clinical care, research, and education. That is really what is at the cornerstone of this Neuroscience Institute. It's, it's bringing the best minds together to enhance the quality of life for neuroscience patients. It takes pharmacists and nurses and physicians and back office people, as well as the people who do translational research that allows us to bring the latest of innovations right here today to Cincinnati. Before I, I was diagnosed, I, I played football, ended up going to college and was a four-year starter, all-American, do urban athlons, half marathons. We were active people. So we were having a normal breakfast. I stood up to get another cup of coffee and just froze. And she asked me what was wrong and I couldn't respond to her. Vernon had given birth to our second child, Grace. Everything was going fine at home, uh, pretty much normal. And the only thing that Vernon experienced were these uncharacteristic, like migraine-style headaches. I heard a loud scream. In a quick span of time, uh, she passed out and went into almost like a deep sleep and then began a kind of seizure activity. And at that point, I called uh, 911 and uh, they responded. They found that she'd had a stroke uh, in the base of her brain. And at that point, after a few hours, they had airlifted her here to UC Sunday night into Monday morning. Five days after the first stroke, they had diagnosed her with a, a secondary stroke, which was the brain stem stroke, which was really the most difficult stroke. So at the age of 28, I was I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I'm healthy, This that doesn't make sense. Am I gonna be up and walking for the rest of my life? Am I gonna be, be able to take care of my family and keep working and yeah, for the first couple of months it was, it was pretty rough on our family. You know, well, what kind of time we got? Will I see, got a grandchild due to be born next month and one due to be born in March. Will I see him? response was, well, you should see the first one. Uh, and so that was, um, that was a whole lot of words without very many. But once we got to UC, the, um, the mood of the physicians with which we were working was just dramatically different. Here was a well-trained physician who said, yeah, this is a very serious disease, but you've got a shot at some life. Well, the University of Cincinnati for almost two centuries has been at the penetrating cutting edge of clinical research and biomedical research really saving millions of lives every year. That's a lot of time to participate in creating health care for the future. The work that's happening here uh, today, the work that has already taken place, that's in textbooks right now, uh, the work that's going to occur in the next generation is going to have a global impact. My best friend uh, had visited and uh, had a, a good friend out of a university that was a pretty world-renowned doctor. My friend put me in touch with him uh, really to kind of give me some reassurance and understanding to ask questions. And when I spoke to the doctor, he didn't know where my wife was at the time. And so towards the end of that conversation, he said, where is your wife right now? What hospital is she in? And I said, well, she's at University of Cincinnati in the neuroscience ICU. And he goes, well, if this gives you some peace and some hope, he goes, that's who we call when we don't have the answers. Me and my wife discussed it, and if Cincinnati doesn't have the best doctor, well, let's pick up and move, because we're, we're gonna fight this thing as hard as we can. But we were able to find it here at University of Cincinnati Health. Everything just sort of changed. When you walk in the door, there was, um, you were met by smiling faces. Everybody was trying to be very helpful. And it just seemed from the start that they were focusing on life, not death. We're also taking advantage of the expertise that resides in the various centers within the Neurologic Institute to really learn from each other that really will continue to advance in how we take care of patients in the most thoughtful way. We think having a place where they can be educated, they can be cared for in a very multidisciplinary way with different types of expertise close by, and not only see the physicians, but the physician says, hey, you know, you need a brain image, a special, very high advanced brain image. Well, it's right downstairs. It's not across the street or four blocks away or a mile away. So they can get what they need in one place. It makes it simple, it makes it easier, and as I said, it gives them a, a sense of belonging, a home. Our last visit with, uh, uh, with the, our oncologist, she came in and brought up the screen and our my previous MRI and the new MRI were there and where all the tumors had been 
it was all clear and I couldn't talk. Because of the University of Cincinnati Neuroscience Institute, my family and I are, are able to have a, a very good life. I, I run a business, two beautiful little girls, and we do everything we did before my diagnosis. When she had left here, one of the biggest uh, hopes was is that she would just be able to speak. And so she can talk, she can move, we're just working through it. And so it's hard to think about two years of progress or 18 months of progress, but she's, she's come a really, really, really long way. A gift today could prevent a diagnosis tomorrow, a speed along someone's recovery. I invite you to make a difference, to invest in the future of the UC Neuroscience Institute and to improve and hopefully save many lives. Easiest thing to say is thank you.